Clay Thompson tore his ACL in game six of the finals back in June. You might sadly remember that didn't stop his dad, 12 year veteran and two time champ Michael Thompson from setting a pretty ambitious goal for Clay's return to the court. Michael said about Clay on the Warriors Insider podcast, he's walking normally and he's optimistic and enthusiastic about getting back late next season. I've never seen Clay too enthusiastic about anything. So if Michael says it, I, we're getting pretty excited. Royce, do you think that's an ambitious timeline? I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily ambitious, Brian, but there's there's obviously going to be the context of the Warriors now and players hurrying back from injury. So there may be some hesitation in that regard. I'm sure the Warriors are going to want Clay to take it extremely slowly. Some of this may depend on where they sit, right? You know, if they're, as our Bobby Marks predicted, they're going to miss the playoffs. Uh, if they're battling for a, for that's, a real, that's a really good point. It's probably position, the most important point. I then, then, then maybe Clay Thompson said, and, and look, we know Clay Thompson. The reason he played in the finals for crying out loud is he's one of the most competitive players in the NBA, and he wanted to play. And if he's sitting there on the sidelines and the Warriors are in the midst of a three-game losing streak, he may say, look, I'm ready to go. I'm cleared medically. Get me back out there. Look at these uh, futures odds from Caesars. Um, I mean, it's not, it might not be a bad bet at plus 900. Um, higher than your Rockets. Yeah, like, that, man, that, that's, actually, uh, that surprised me given, uh, you know, what the Rockets have on that roster and obviously the fact that Clay Thompson is going to miss most, if not all, the season. And nine to 12 months, I think, is pretty typical for uh, a, to return from a torn ACL. I think the best case scenario for the Warriors is Klay Thompson can get back at some point late in the season and then be something close to his normal self once the playoffs roll around. And then if he is, you know, they've at least got a shooter's chance. Yeah, and don't all, don't forget, they got D'Angelo Russell. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why they got Russell was to so that they could have an all-star slide into that spot to get those minutes and play those Though, to play that role. And frankly, you know, if Russell plays to the same level he played in Brooklyn last season, we'll see how it fits along with Steph. It's not unreasonable to think that they are a playoff team even if Clay doesn't come back. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we all know with ACLs, it's, it's an injury that we're very familiar with sports fans with. You and we've all covered players who've mm -hmm. come back from ACLs. Typically, when they can get while they can get back on the court the following year, they don't return to full form until a year, sort of the second mm -hmm. season. So it, well, I'm not saying that Clay won't step on the court, but I think we need to manage expectations. Yeah, and look, we're we, we've see seen some back. players sit on an entire season from it. We've seen some guys come back seven, eight, nine months. So, but it would be something, Brian, if the Warriors are like, let's say, the seven, six, seventh seed, and Clay Thompson is back and ready to go for an opening round playoff series. That would uh, that would be something else. And it's also a motivational factor for the team. You know, it's like let's let's keep in this because we got to be in position when Clay comes back. It's something that the team can sort of hang on to as they go during the season. So, um, and you know, Michael Thompson, when he's talked about Clay in the past, he's frankly been pretty active. He's talked about kind of, his contract situation. It's kind of weird how it's, he seems to know things. Yeah, you know, I'm well just saying, like there. some some fathers, you know, it's not yeah. always true. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.